Hey folks, welcome back to the show. Our next guest is the mayor of Atlantic City, Marty Small Sr. Mayor, welcome to the show, man. What's happening? Uh, what's going on, AC Mike? Uh, thank you for having me on your show and to the viewing audience. It's a great day here in the city of Atlantic City. Can we say great day? Great day. Yes. Say it out there too, make sure. Great day. You got it. So, hey, listen, Mayor Small, we appreciate you coming out here. You know your way around. We spoke a little bit earlier this afternoon. He told me, folks, uh, yeah, but it's by the, the library, right? And I had no library. What are you talking about? Alumni, we're going to talk about that. Basketball player. But listen, uh, Mayor Small, we've done this quite a few times. you got your own show on a radio show. Do a great job. Communications major uh, here at Stockton University. Tell us a little bit about Marty Small, the child growing up in AC, the, the love for the city, and that sort of thing. And we're just going to step on and just find out where you are for today. Yes, well, um, thank you for the Stockton shout out. I put my Stockton degree to use right. with my communication degree. But um, I'm Mayor Marty Small Singh and Mayor of the great city of Atlantic City. I was born in one of the worst neighborhoods in town in Atlantic City, um, Virginia Avenue Courts area, VAC. Um, I grew up in a house with eight women, uh, wow. no, no man in the house in that environment. Four. And um, it was a situation where my church, I grew up in Hamilton Memorial United Methodist Church, and the Boys and Girls Club was a safe haven. Organizations like PAL um, led me to sports. I'm a proud product of the Atlantic City public school system. I graduated from Atlantic City High School in 1993, where uh, I excelled in baseball and basketball, but I chose to play basketball in college. I then entered into the EOF program in June of 1993. Um, you know, had some success a little bit on the basketball court, a um, just a little bit. And, you know, that propelled me. I used that as a vehicle to get my degree uh, in communications, a Bachelor of Arts degree in communications. Had success on the court. Um, I went to three Sweet Sixteens during my time yeah. here at Stockton, one final eight. And uh, personally, um, I was inducted into the Stockton Athletics uh, Hall of Fame as an individual in 2016, as I still hold the all-time lead and rebounding record, and I believe I'm number 11 uh, in yeah. scoring now, 1,238 points. And then I had the honor of being inducted, um, my team, two years later in 2018, our 1995-96 team at the time had the best record in school history, 26 and four, we went to the Elite Eight and we got inducted uh, as a team. Um, I also have a master's degree in uh, educational leadership from Cheney University. And right after that, I just, you know, uh, played in the USBL for the Atlantic City Seagulls. And I got right to the workforce, um, started out as a caseworker um, with the welfare department, ran a joint program with the state, the city, and uh, the police department. It was a community police partnership grant. Atlantic City was one of the one of six cities at that time to get it in the stats and data showed that the area from New Jersey Avenue to Tennessee Avenue was the worst in the city. And it was my job to put on quality of life activities for youth and seniors. And we did that very well. Then I went on, uh, you know, left the city, went back home, so to speak, because I was a Boys and Girls Club kid, right. opened up the new Boys and Girls Club, started the Men's Midnight Basketball League, ran, uh, well, started out uh, being appointed by Jim Whelan to the Atlantic City Free Public, bit, yeah. Free Public Library, Board of Trustees, and then I all, always was political and I ran for the Atlantic City Board of Education, was the number one vote getter when I was sworn in the following week. Um, I went on and uh, was elected vice president uh, by my peers. How old were you, and, Marty? And it was 27 then. Right, right. And then I had the itch to keep going and I ran for city council and um, you know, I was the youngest elected councilman in the history of the city uh, at the age of 29. You know, Atlantic City politics wasn't right. fine for young people. So I was living in the west yes. end of the county, yes. and I was reading about it. It's called yes. the Atlantic City Press. It ain't the Hamilton Press. It ain't the Mullican Township Press. Yes. The Atlantic City Press. Marty, I wanted to touch on that a little bit while we're on that, though. Gotcha. Your, your mentor, uh, uh, Jim Whalen. You had, I know you had a couple, but, like, he took a vested interest in you, you know, because you got involved and— uh, with the politics, and I like to call it public service, you know, because that's what we are. You're serving the public. You know, how was that relationship? And, and just, uh, you know, it was, was he mayor? 
it uh, was assembly senator. It was genuine. Right. I mean, you know, you have some people that just can care about what you can do for them politically. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you a story. Uh, so everyone knew that I was a leader amongst my peers, and you know, one day I was going to be where I'm at. So I had a conversation with Jim Whelan in his office, one on one, like we're talking. I said, I got a job offer from the Boys and Girls Club that's going back home and you know it's paying me more than the city but i love what i'm doing so forth and so on you know what you think he said well let me just say this as mayor of the atlantic city uh i want marty small to stay because the jobs you're doing with these programs mm -hmm. make me look good he said but are you kidding me as a friend of marty small someone who i know that wants to run for politics want to be a councilman you can't be a councilman and work for the city so you you got to take that job, mm. and I respected that. I and really you know, I took the job. You know, the rest is history. Um, it wasn't just me, but you know, me and my peers. We enjoyed our relationship uh, with the late great Senator Assemblyman and three-term Mayor uh, Jim Whelan. He really genuinely cared for us and always put us in position to succeed. And you know, we we valued and appreciated that. Yeah, a great man. Got to meet him a few times on the boardwalk and different events. Always had time for everyone. That's the one thing. A genuine, uh, gentle heart, but a leader. And that's what we talk about. We hear the term mayor a lot, a boss and this and that. You're a leader. And what you've been surrounding yourself, and we're going to touch a lot more on this in the next segment, but the, the leadership skills of people who can gather, you know, because uh, let's face it, most people want to be led. I mean, and this is not an ego thing or whatnot. They want a leader. And talk about that a little bit, because I think that's important. As we sit here at Stockton University. You know, you know I like to say a leader knows the way, shows the way, and goes the way. And that's how we lead. Um, leadership is right. the first uh, letter in our acronym-based leadership theme, which, which is called Let's Ace It. And these are the principles that I govern by as mayor and his leadership, expectations, transparency, and stability, accountability, credibility and excellence in execution. And that's what I challenge my staff with every single day. And we see it and we see what's going on there as a resident of Atlantic City. Uh, could have moved wherever I wanted, not on a, in a monetary way. A uh, single guy retired from the Atlantic County Department of Public Safety, fancy name for the jail. And, uh, you know, it was Atlantic City. I mean, the, the beauty of it, it's a gem. Um, you know, people knock it and whatnot. There's no city that doesn't have things that Listen, uh, go and, wrong. And, and that's the thing. It's my job as mayor right. to promote this city. I'm that's the right. biggest ambassador, the biggest promoter. And I always have a slogan for that, too, that I'm Atlantic City born, I'm Atlantic City bred, and when I die, I'm going to be Atlantic City dead. I love this city. There's no right. question about it. And it's my job to push and promote. That's why it's always a great day here in the city of Atlantic City, in spite of. Do we have challenges? Yes. But there's no better city... Uh, you know, in the world than the great city of Atlantic City, and I'm just thrilled to be the mayor. There you go, folks. So listen, since 1854, been here. It's uh, thriving. We're going to talk a little bit more in the next segment, so stay right where you're at. We'll be right back.